One of us came into Financial Peace unwillingly, and the other one was Sheila. So my wife asked me, she said, hey, do you want to do Financial Peace? And I said, no, not at all. Don't care about it, don't want to do it. I know how to save money, we're good. When we decided to sign up for Financial Peace, to say that we argued would be an understatement. <laughs> I was one of these people. Now, I, I, at the beginning, I was doubting. My wife is the one that really encouraged me to take this class with her. For the first four years of our marriage, we really, we never sat down and did a budget together, ever. So we went and did financial peace, and it changed my life and her life. We've had teachers come through. We've had neurosurgeons come through. They didn't know where their money was going. They didn't know... Uh, what all their expenses were. They, some of them didn't even know how much they made. I think one of the biggest things about financial peace is it helps you talk the same language. Just having those conversations and working on it together, beginning to have those conversations, being on the same page about finances, um, what we wanted to do with our money, with savings, and uh, planning for the future was probably the biggest step in the first time around. I think a lot of times when you think about Talking about finances or what you're doing, it seems really personal or sometimes selfish, but um, I think it's important to take that on because it is important to the church and to be good stewards of what God's given us and use his money to the best of our ability. And the class really gave us a framework for understanding God's plan for our money and um, a dialogue that we could both use that didn't have to do with our families of origin or anything like that, but a, a dialogue that we could use together to talk about money. And it gave us a goal for the future so that we weren't kind of spending aimlessly, but that uh, we were working toward the spiritual stewardship that we knew that God wanted us to be working toward. And by being financially free and not slave to any lender, uh, you're freed up from that bondage um, where you can truly give generously and also rely on God for those possessions and those resources. And whether you have a lot of debt to pay off, whether you don't have any debt at all, uh, you learn uh, so many different things about money through this course. You learn about good stewardship and how to uh, leave a legacy uh, with your finances. One of the questions we always ask on day one of the first lesson is what excites you about having um, no, no more debt? And it always impresses me, the hearts of Memorial Road members. We are blessed when we give, and we have so many spiritual gifts, and that's why the Apostle Paul talks about the body of Christ is unique and how um, each member is such an important part because we all have different gifts, and how we utilize those and how we offer those back to God is our biggest contribution, not only to the church, but to all the people in the world for which he died. And um, I can't help but think that if, as we work toward this plan, that God is going to blow the lid off of the generosity of this congregation and in a way that nobody really understands right now. And that's one of the greatest things that we can learn from Financial Peace University is that the principle of it, it is not ours. It's not ours and how we manage what we have, but also utilize the gifts that we have, which are not monetary, is our gift back to God. We've seen how it can change our lives, and we see how it has changed other people's lives. I really think that it's important to, if we want to be in peace, if we want to practice that peace, it's important to practice it uh, in everything, including our, our finances. Um, I think that's part of being light of this, of this world. I can guarantee you, at the end of nine weeks, if you do, if you follow the plan and do what he says, you're going to be in a lot better place.